Hey guys, today I am coming at you with a video on flawless skin, how I get the absolute most flawless base. I know I did my holy grail video back in the day, but this is a different one for you. Recently, I was contacted by MAC, MAC Cosmetics. I know. They asked me if I wanted to try out their Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, and I, so weirdly enough, had never tried it before, and I thought, you know what? Heck yeah. I am going to show you how to get the most flawless skin. As you guys can tell, no airbrushing, no filters, no nothing on this skin, just using Studio Fix Fluid, and I am obsessed. Now, normally, I do not love a matte finish foundation. I think that matte and me, we, we don't get along, but this is different because it's almost like a satin matte. I would not call this a full matte foundation, even though they do. It is such a beautiful foundation and it has such a flawless coverage. And honestly, I don't have like powder setting my face. It just, it just is so good. My nose is handling it. I posted a photo in collaboration with Mac the other day on Instagram. This is the photo here. And I actually did another one here. And in both of these photos, I am wearing the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. Neither of these have any editing on the skin whatsoever. I'm very proud of that. And the main reason for that is Studio Fix. It is something I didn't think I would love, but that I ended up really loving and have worn every time I've gone out, at least for the last three weeks. It's also a cult favorite. Everybody loves this foundation. It's been out for years. It's one of MAC's top selling foundations. It's not like something that just released and you don't know if it's gonna be good. It's one of those holy grail cult favorites across the board. MAC is one of those brands that does makeup right. They go to the classics and they keep it good through and through. And this foundation is beautiful. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by MAC. I always wanna let you guys know. That doesn't change my opinions at all and I do not promote products that I don't like. I know every Everybody says that, yada yada, true here. I would not have promoted this to you had I not loved it. And I'm telling you, I love it so much. Thank you so much, Mac, for partnering with me on this video. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use the Studio Fix Fluid to get the absolute most flawless skin and to do this entire makeup look right here. You guys are gonna love it. I have very finicky skin and it is my number one step in making sure that my makeup looks flawless. So if my skin doesn't look good, nothing else looks good. And I wanted to make sure that before I promote anything to you guys, before I talk about anything to you guys, that I gave this product a thorough chance and made sure it was actually good for me. And when I first put Studio Fix Fluid on my face, I'm not even kidding you, I was shook. I guess what I was expecting of it and what it ended up being were two totally different things. This foundation is matte, yes, but that is so far from everything that this foundation makes my skin look like. If you do not have my skin tone, don't worry. The Studio Fix foundation comes in over 50 shades, which is absolutely amazing. I feel like brands all need to adopt this into their makeup lines. They need to come out with inclusive shade ranges that range from the palest of pale, to the deepest of dark, and I feel like they need everything in between. And I feel like that's the case here with Studio Fix. And this is one of their best-selling foundations. So that's another reason I was really keen to jump on board to this because I know that it has a huge cult following and people are really obsessed with it. So I'm gonna apply this to my face and I want you guys to see just how beautiful this foundation is. And I'm essentially going to recreate the look that I did the other day on my Instagram because so many of you guys have been asking about that because I used a couple of the MAC lip products as well and dear God, if that wasn't the most beautiful red lip. The whole look was super simple. It literally was just skin, lashes, and lips. And honestly, I feel like that's one of the most classic looks that you can do. So I don't typically like primers, you guys know this. And I wouldn't even consider this a primer. This is MAC Strobe Cream. If you are unaware, basically it's a luminous cream. I'll show you. I like to put a little bit of this down on my face first. I don't treat this like a primer. I treat it like adding a luminous layer underneath. It has like a gold luminosity, I think you can see that. And it just adds this really pretty sheen to your skin. And then when you put foundation over the top, it just makes it look so dewy. Oh, and it smells good too. It smells like, I really can't put my finger on that. Men. And so now that I have that down, I also like to take some of the Fix Plus, which is honestly one of my favorite products. I've probably gone through like at least five of these over the course of my makeup life. And I actually have another one right here that's like pretty much gone, but I thought I'd show you guys the pretty one for this video. And I like to spray my face with it. If you could ask me what the best smell in the whole world is, Fix Plus is my number one. You could bathe me in it. You could spray me with it every time I walked through a door. You could spray me with it constantly. It is the best smelling thing in the entire world in my opinion. Whatever it is, which I still don't know the answer to that, is perfection. You can either apply it to the back of your hand, which is what I typically do. So I would like 
put it onto the back of my hand. I feel like these do have a pump that you can buy, but for me, I don't have it and I wish I did. But essentially, you just start applying it. Now, you can already see the coverage is so beautiful. I would call this a medium, high medium coverage. It still looks like skin and it's sheer enough that you can see your skin through it. I can't even explain it. Since they sent this to me a few weeks ago, I've worn this every time I've needed to go out, testing this on myself, seeing what ways are best to apply this because I wanted to come on here and give you guys the best representation of this. For some reason, I had just never tried it before, but I am so glad I did. I wore this to the theater when I went to go see the movie It. I was pretty much covering my face with my leather jacket the entire time, so it held up through that. And as you guys know, my nose is the teller of all. If it's not gonna look good, nothing's gonna look good. But with Studio Fix, I am not even kidding. My nose looks flawless. A lot of you guys have probably already tried this foundation and it's probably your favorite. And if it's not, or if you've ever had issues with it, try the beauty blender instead of a brush or try using less because you can use too much of a product and then make the product be cakey. And for me, I only, you, you saw what I used and that covered my entire face. It didn't take much and my nose literally looks bomb. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and show you. See that shit? Mm. Now I'm the color NW15, so that's the color that you see me applying here. I like this because it's neutral warm. That's the NW, then you have NC. NC is neutral cool, I believe, and W is neutral warm. I have warm undertones given they're yellow, pretty much. And so I like to choose the NW. Now I had always been using the wrong shade as well because in MAC so far, I've always been an NC15. Wrong. This also builds really nicely. I like to have really flawless skin down here because I have redness in this little band around the bottom of my face. Don't ask me why. And that's Studio Fix. That's what it looks like. It's so beautiful. It will dry down a bit, but I don't even set this. I set my under eyes, but I haven't been setting the foundation and it's just so beautiful. For my under eyes, I've been taking the NC15 Studio Finish Concealer. I don't typically love these little pot concealers either, but if I apply this with my finger, I actually really like it. I typically am a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer fiend. It's just such a good concealer, but this one's also really good. And if you're going for something easy and you don't wanna like whip out a bunch of tools, I like to just take it and pat it on with my finger in my under eye. And it's a really creamy consistency, but I do set this with a powder. So I just did my brows off camera and I'm gonna go in with the MAC Next to Nothing powder. And this is in the shade Dark Deep. So this is a foundation powder, but it will work, as you can see, to just add a little bit of contour to my face. This is exactly what I did in that photo the other day and it just, I don't know if I've ever felt prettier in a photo. You could also use like Give Me Sun bronzer. I don't happen to have that. And really go through the perimeter of my face and I take it down a little on my neck and chest just so everything really matches. But you can just see how flawless this face is. Like my nose, oh, my nose, my nose. I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight and this is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This is like the original highlighter. Before highlighters were a thing. This was it. For my eyes in that photo, I actually just took a little bit of the foundation powder and a fluffy brush and just ran it through the crease. I haven't been doing a whole ton to my eyes the last few days because it's all been lash focused. I just run a little bit of bronzer through my crease. I'm gonna go toss on a pair of lashes and I will be back to do the lips and we'll be done. All right, and this is the finished skin and eyes. This is exactly what I did in the photo that I posted the other day to Instagram. The only difference is that I had on a red lip. And if you guys wanna know how I did that red lip, I actually used the MAC Lip Liner in Cherry. And then I went in with the Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Fashion Legacy. And then this is the color Russian Red and this is the Lip Glass. So I first kind of draw over where my real lip line is and then I overdraw my lips a bit. Well, not a bit, a lot.
So I outlined my lips and I don't fill them in completely with this. You can, but it's kind of a moo point. Oh my gosh, this red is so vivid. And then I took the lip gloss in Russian Red, which is totally the Pretty Little Liars color. And I don't take that all the way to the edge because this tends to feather out a little bit. So I like to just kind of keep it in the center. I especially keep it away from the corners of my mouth, but you can see it doesn't matter. Even if it's not there, the effect is still there. And God, it's like such a beautiful glossy red. Mm -mm -mm. And this is the finished makeup look. This is the recreation of what I did on Instagram the other day, and I hope you guys love it. I love this classic pinup glam look. This is one of my favorite looks to go and wear. This is my husband's favorite look on me. He loves red lips and big lashes. This is what he tells me every time. He's like, please do that. I'm like, okay. And this is the finished video. I hope you guys like this video and I hope it helped you in any way. I was so excited when they reached out to me. I love MAC so much and I love the product. Regardless of this campaign, I'm a Fix Fam member for life because look at my nose. Like actually look at it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot and lets me know what you guys like to watch. Also, if you guys have not yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put up new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on all my other social media stuff. Everything is Rob Beauty Christie. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all the same. And I'm getting back into Snapchat because even though it kills my phone battery, I need to snap my best friends. All right, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye! If you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. It lets me get, lets me guys know. Ah!